Hey everyone, Professor Baldwin here. And today we have everybody's favorite, a word problem. And this word problem is about an airplane that's traveling with the wind and into the wind or against the wind. Now remember that an airplane problem is just like a boat problem. And to start, we want to identify the variables. So A is going to be our airplane speed. And W will be the wind speed. Now, we need to make a picture of what's happening. That is where we're going to get the clearest understanding. So the wind will always go in the same direction. But the airplane is changing directions. So the airplane can travel against the wind or into the wind. So that means the airplane is going the opposite direction. Or the speed of the airplane is slowed down by the wind. So A minus W is the speed. The other option is that the airplane is going with the wind. And that means the airplane is going in the exact same direction as the wind. Therefore, the plane would be moving faster or the speed would be the airplane plus the wind speed. Now let's look at our problem to see the information that we're given. So an airplane travels 3,000 miles. Okay, so we know we're going 3,000 miles. And that's going to be the same for both directions since we're doing a round trip. And when it goes with the wind, it takes five hours. So with the wind is our second option. So here, that's five hours. And it takes six hours for the return trip into the wind. So there, it's six hours. Now notice that we're told miles, and we're told how many hours it takes us to travel that many miles. Well, miles in so many hours is a speed. So we know in this first situation that 3,000 miles in six hours is a speed of 500 miles per hour. Or the airplane minus the wind equals a speed of 500. And the second option, 3,000 miles in five hours, is a speed of 600 miles per hour. And that makes sense, right? The airplane is being pushed by the wind, so the speed should be faster, 600 miles per hour. Now, let's put these equations together. We have airplane speed minus wind speed is 500 miles per hour, and the airplane speed plus the wind speed is 600 miles per hour. Notice that the, the W's, our wind speed, has opposite signs. So if we use the elimination method and add these equations together, the W variable will cancel out. So we have 2A, the W cancels out, equals 1100. Divide by 2, and we get that A equals 550. Well, what does that mean? 550 miles per hour. That's our airplane speed. So our airplane is traveling 550 miles per hour. Well, what about the wind? Go back to one of your original equations. How about airplane plus wind equals 600? Well, our airplane is 550 miles per hour. So if we subtract 550 from both sides, we see that the wind speed is 50 miles per hour. Remember, draw a picture of the situation, start filling in the information that you know, and that will help you start pulling out those two equations that you can use elimination or substitution to solve.